Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to continue our series of the Razor Archive videos, talking about the history of Gillette razors. So, we're here in the early 50s, and we have two new names that come on the scene. Continuing on some of these kind of um, superlative description of razors like aristocrat and deluxe, well, we have a diplomat and a president. I guess there's also senators and other things over the years, right? Um, well, these two razors are almost, I, I call them cousins, that's why we have both in one video, because they are pretty much the same razor. If you look at them, they have the exact same neural pattern, which I describe as tight, 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 because the aristocrats will be either loose, tight, loose, or tight, tight, loose. Just meaning that this is a heavy pattern here, and this is heavy, and this is heavy. Um, so they have the exact same pattern. They have the exact same twist open knob. They have the exact same head. They were even made in the same time frame of, you know, 51, 52, 53. Um, and they were kind of deluxe sets, They're both for $5. You know, the average, the super speed was a dollar. So this is five times the price. And what are you getting for five times the price? Well, number one, presentation. The Diplomat is the gold variation. It has a beautiful leather case with the Flair de Lis pattern on the front. Came in a little shipper box like this. Keep it safe. It has a gold lining around the perimeter. And it has your blue blades in there, of course. And our president is going to have a very similar case, kind of this tweed material, really nice. Kind of like an old suitcase. It's going to have a nickel finish around the perimeter. Uh, this is 24 karat gold. The president is going to uh, be rhodium on the handle and nickel on the neck and head. And you can see that even with this uh, really pristine set that I have. You can see the very slight hue difference between the neck and the handle. The hue is going to have more of that gray kind of smoky look to it, which is nickel. And the handle still has this original rhodium, which is still very bright and shiny, which is one reason why at Razor and Pouring we do so much plating in rhodium, is because it does not tarnish. I bet if I took a polishing cloth to this nickel and touched it up, which, I, by the way, I've never done, um, I bet it may shine up a little bit and some of that tarnish may go away. But uh, rhodium is a non-tarnishing metal, so it's always going to look nice and bright and, and, and shiny. If it does start looking dull, it's because of soap scum. So just use an old toothbrush and some dish detergent, and that soap scum will come off, and it'll be nice and shiny again. So it's a great metal to do razors in. I love it. Um, beautiful shipper box. A lot more uh, kind of nice looking than the Diplomat over here with a uh, big word president on it. And, yeah, I'm missing one little piece. Well, I guess it's inside. Yeah. Um, either way. These razor sets were variations of aristocrats. In fact, you could say that they probably had some parts left over. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if this was an attempt into the early 50s to get rid of aristocrat parts because they, they had done the aristocrat, I think, into maybe 1950, 1951, like really at the very beginning of the 50s, but then it kind of went away. Um, and I think that these models were ways of kind of continu continuing that on actually at a higher price point because at that, that time the aristocrat sold for I believe 379 so these were five dollars and the difference really is uh, the presentation case you know Gillette was not making these cases themselves they were contracting these cases out to another company to make and I can you know see that it has much more elaborate um, finish to the to the case and that that itself could be the difference but regardless very cool very collectible so if you're out in the wild, and you come across one of these, uh, you know, in our, our scale again, one that you find at any time you go out, and five, it belongs in a museum. I would say that the diplomat or president are easily, just the razor alone, two and a half, three, just the razor, because they are a little bit harder to find in good condition. Good condition really, really is what this is based off of. And then if you have the presentation case, you have the shippers, you have price tags, instructions, et cetera, et cetera, definitely up there. Four, four and a half, maybe, maybe some would consider five out of five. I wouldn't. I, I still think they're pretty, pretty um, common in the grand scheme of things. They're not like a, a double ring, you know, min condition set or something. Uh, but 
definitely harder to find than a super speed or a tech razor or something else. So very cool pieces of history. Con continuing on this luxurious superlative kind of approach to the to razors. And honestly, I love the fact that they're $5. This is back to the original Gillette razor set from the 1900s were $5 priced razors. And this is kind of that high-end razor. So Gillette was always gonna show you you could buy the 69 cent tech razor, you could buy the dollar super speed, or you could buy the $5 aristocrat or president. That's all I got. If there's another story about these razors that you know, tell me. That's how I learn. I learn from other people. I don't know everything myself. And if you do leave a comment, you are entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel. Please like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving.